Hello, YouTube. I'm not used to making videos. I'm used to going live all the time. Which, really, this is basically live because I don't know how to edit or I don't have a camera. I just have my phone. And I'm just winging it. I'm just trying to have every platform I could possibly have to um, show my boutique. Because maybe other people in other states or... Somewhere else would be interested in my stuff, and I do ship. So, anyways, I'm the owner of Tiffany's Treasures Boutique. Um, also, we have a tree service. Uh, we live in a small town. There's not much here. There's not even a Walmart. Um, there's Dollar General, and that's about it. So, I opened up a boutique with clothing. I'm trying to have cute clothes. For everyone at a decent price. Um, I feel like I'm doing that. Um, it's not like I'm trying to make a living off one shirt. You know what I mean? But I do understand why people have to mark stuff up in small towns. Because think about it. Okay, if you're in a small town and people, you're not getting traffic like you would say TJ Maxx or Ross. I mean, they're getting traffic constant, constant, constant. So if they're only making $4 off of a shirt, they're good because they're selling all kinds of shirts. You get what I'm saying? So I get why small towns, even though they might not pay that much for the shirt, they might pay the same amount as the people at TJ Maxx, but they're not going to have all that traffic. So they're going to charge more for their shirt because they're not having many customers. So they're just trying to make it. Like they're just trying to keep afloat. Like they feel like they're in the water, doggy paddling, about to drown. Because in a small town, in I mean, I have loyal customers and I have certain customers that come all the time. And I know they're gonna buy at least five or six shirts. I have people like that, but I don't have the lot, you know what I mean? And I don't have a lot of traffic coming in. That's why I have all this time to make all these lives and all these videos. And so then, on a lot of my clothing, because if you think about it, to stock a store from scratch, like shelves, um, racks, hangers, you got to buy all of your products. You got to you gotta keep stuff. When you sell stuff, you got to buy stuff. When you sell stuff, you got to buy stuff. So then you're like, when am I making money? And it's just, uh, I don't know. And so then, like, I ordered a bunch of stuff for Christmas, a bunch of cute Christmas shirts. I sewed quite a few, don't get me wrong. But then, now I'm stuck with a bunch of Christmas stuff. So then it's Valentine's Day, and I'm like, well, then everybody's saying, oh, that's when you're going to make money. And then I'm like, well, what do I order? Do people want Valentine's shirts? I don't know. So I ordered two different kinds. And just now, the sweatshirts are selling. But the tie-dye ones aren't. So, I mean, you just never know what to order. And I'm not big time in it like, say, Dollar General. They got money. Dollar General got money. Okay, they have their Christmas all right? Everything's 70% off. They're good with that. You know why? Because they got Dollar General money. Like, they're everywhere. They're making money. But me, I'm stuck with a bunch of stuff I bought, and now I can't sell. So what do I do? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should have took a starter course on how to open a store. Because I just don't know. And then I tried to do the pre-order because I knew I couldn't... I wanted everybody to have more options. So that's why... Well, no, no, no. I take that back. I take that back. I started off the pre-order group as my boutique that's all I had and then my husband said is this what you want to do you can open a store so I opened the store and I kept the online because the reason or I kept the pre-order and the reason being was because I wanted everybody to have such a variety of options that I can't buy every shirt that I think's cute and put in the store buy one of every size or two of every size and put in the store that I think's cute because I ain't rolling like that. So that's why I kept the pre-order so y'all had lots of options. Well then, the pre-order didn't work out. I wasn't getting all the orders. Wasn't getting money back. 
like it was just a disaster <clears throat> and it was so stressful on me it was like i was worried because i wanted these people to have their stuff i had done paid them their money and then i had a few people wanting me to pay them back their money and i understand that but what would have helped me out more is if they would have just got something that i've already bought in the store because this is what happens say i was making say their shirt cost 29 dollars and something I was making $4 off that shirt. That's what I was making. Okay. So, I pay them $25 and something for their shirt. Never get it. Never get the money back. So, here I lost $25 and something. Gained four. Then had to pay the customer back the $29 and something. So, I lost $29 something and $25 something. Down the drain. Gone. Never to see again. Now... When you're already a small business in a small town in a small world, that's not good if that happens to you a couple of times. So, no more pre-orders. No more. And if someone's stuff didn't come in, please just get something I've already bought in the store. Or let me tell you this. There's quite a few clothes that you can order and then they, you, they take it out of your account every other week. So then... I'm not making money, and I've got all these clothes here that I thought were so cute, and people not buying them, but I still got to pay for them. Like, it's taking it out. It's taking it out, and I'm sitting here like, oh, my God, I got to pay for these clothes. I got to pay for these clothes. So, just know that opening your own store in a small town is very stressful. That's why I'm trying, and... I love small towns. I've been here my whole life. I'll probably never leave. I'm not trying to talk bad about it. I'm just saying for retail, boutique, whatever, skincare, makeup, I need to broaden my horizons. And that's why I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. I'm trying to start a business page on Facebook. I'm trying to start a TikTok. I'm trying to start, I got a group on Facebook and I'm trying to boost it. Um, I'm trying to start everything I can. I have an Instagram. I'm not so sure I'm happy about that. Um, I might try to get my husband to run it. So then when there's creepers, he can deal with it. Uh, but anyways, so yes, having your own business is very hard. But let me show you. I'm going to flip it around. Oh, you can't see. But I do have lots of cute stuff and I have makeup and skincare and dishes and it goes all the way back. But anyways, um, I don't want to be on my little pit pot. I just had to let that out. I feel good now. But it is very hard. And I do appreciate my customers that do come and help. Um, but it's really hard. And people are right. It's hard to have a business in a small town. Um, especially, you know how small towns are. You know, like there are certain people. Oh, you're so-and-so's who, whatever. You're so-and-so. I'm not so-and-so's nobody special. You know what I mean? So, I might not be popular by as many people as some others might. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'm here. I'm here to stay. Um, one way or another, building, no building, internet, no internet, one way I'm going to get my boutique out there somewhere. Anyways, also I have this shirt available, super cute, I'm wearing it with leggings, but anyway, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, that's just my rant about small business, I don't even know what I was going to do with this video, but that's what it turned into. Thank you to all my customers, and subscribe, and look me up on Facebook, screenshot this, well, I probably should have took my phone number out of that, but, oh well, I don't have very many subscribers, look me up on Facebook, Tiffany's Treasures Boutique, bam, look me up, bye guys, and subscribe.